Well, what we've experienced over the past four or five days certainly brings a new meaning to floating your horse to the track. It's been remarkable the fact that we've been able to race here today. The General Manager of Racing, Mr David Watson, now joins me to explain the situation between calling him off last Saturday and racing here today. Well David, before we discuss the procedure of racing today against last Saturday, our thoughts are certainly with all those participants out there doing it extremely tough, particularly in that Penrith region. Yeah, look, today you've got to put it in perspective, today's just a race day, we're lucky to be racing just the heartache and what people are experiencing out there on the Nepean, the Hawkesbury River is just devastating to a lot of communities and a lot of families. So, um, yeah, our heart goes out to them, our thoughts go out to those people. You know, we've got some horses here that had to be rescued. Troy Williams' horses are here on the property now. Um, so, yeah, just our prayers and thoughts with everyone that's going through all the hardship. It's truly remarkable the fact that we are racing. We have had an enormous amount of rain here. Yes, look. Since Saturday morning we've had over 200 mils, well up until 9am we had 200 mils since Saturday. Um, remarkably we've had another inch and a half today. Uh, it's funny, as a lot of people know, the hard rain's actually not too bad a thing for a track. Flooding is another issue, but um, the track, they've always prepared it on Thursday in anticipation for a fair bit of rain. We've received a lot more than we thought, everyone thought they were going to get. So it was prepared on Thursday, um, that wasn't the issue. Look, the difference between Saturday and today was that the rain started really bucketing down on Saturday and there was the anticipation of you know, maybe three or four inches of rain during the afternoon. Well, everything was still open, like the bridge was still open, Menangle Bridge, um, roadways were still open. What, what we had received, the notification we received, that those could have gone under during Saturday night, which would have changed everyone's um, requirements here that had travelled here. They would have had to find a different way home. They could have been flooded in. We just didn't know. So there was a, a lot of unknown about Saturday night. The difference with today is we know what was flooded. Unfortunately, Menangle Bridge was flooded, but we made the preparations. We let trainers and that know. Look, a lot are still flooded in, um, but it was never going to be the track. It was never going to be the track on Saturday night, really. That was just an issue with all the anticipated rain during the Saturday afternoon, which it did. Um, and the bridge did go under, so fortunately we made that decision for Saturday. They, a lot of those horses are going around this Friday night, we race this Friday night here, so they had that opportunity to do that and yeah, unfortunately a lot of horses aren't here, we just hope everyone's safe and the horses are safe and uh, we'll get to see them here again in the next couple of weeks. It's always that saying, Dave, we can live the race another day. Yeah, absolutely, as I said, yeah, we're just racing, it's just a small thing compared to what everything, everyone's going through at the moment. As I said, our thoughts and prayers are with not just the participants but everyone in the state that's going through this and um, hopefully, hopefully everything, yeah, there's not loss of life and stuff like that and as you said, we've, we move on. Dorothy McKellar certainly got it right, David, a, a land of flooding plains and sunburned country. This time last year we are going through fires. Now we're going through floods, squeeze that in between that and this particular meeting last year we had to call off due to the COVID. Can you believe that? That's 12 months. Um, wow. And it was called off about 20 minutes before the first race I think. So yeah, remarkably that's 12 months ago, it's gone so quick. Um, let's hope 2021 holds a, a lot brighter, boom boom, a lot brighter future for us than what 2020 did. Oh, we need now is a plague of locusts. Oh, oh, God, I hope not. No, we'll just keep fighting on, Mick. David, at the front of the track is concerned. You can still hear the pounding of the hooves. It's just remarkable. Yeah, look, it's, um, as I said, that heavy rain's actually pretty good for, uh, not bad for a track. It's the real drizzly rain. It can be a bit of a concern. Plus your preparation. So the boys had prepped it on Thursday in anticipation of a lot of rain. Fortunately, they did that. And, you know, we're seeing what, what the fruition of that is today. And a very good eight event program set down for decision on Friday night. Yeah, a bit different Friday night. Bathurst is on Saturday night, so everyone best of luck there with all the big group racing up there. Um, but we're here Friday night. We're looking forward to We've got a, a big function here on Friday night, which is great to see on a Friday night. Um, come along, watch the footy, watch some shots. Hey, Chairs, are you getting it on the big screen? Oh, I think we'll get the footy on one of those screens, Mick. David, great to see you, and uh, well done to, to all the uh, staff getting this track up to not only scratch, but beyond expectations. Yeah, they always do a great job here, the staff. Love them.